What's going on at CERN now that the Higgs boson is discovered and the Nobel Prizes were granted? There are discoveries that win Nobel Prizes. And then there are discoveries that change the world forever. Physicist Brian Cox is warning we may have just found the second kind. It's not a new planet or a distant galaxy. It's a tiny, impossible signal from inside the Atlas Particle Collider at CERN. A 3.1 terelectron volt ghost that has no explanation. Many people are crazy about this breakthrough. But the thing nobody tells you is what could happen if this new physics is something we can't control. This is the story of the 3i event. The signal in the noise. Deep beneath the border of France and Switzerland, a monster was awake. The Large Hadron Collider, a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets, was doing what it does best, smashing tiny particles together at nearly the speed of light. For the thousands of scientists at CERN, it was just another day at the office, sifting through the subatomic rubble of these colossal collisions. They were looking for the secrets of the universe, the building blocks of reality. But you see, on March 7, 2026, they found something else. Something that wasn't supposed to be there. Something that would make the world's most brilliant minds question everything they thought was true. Inside the massive Atlas detector, a machine as tall as a five-story building, an event occurred that was unlike any other. It was logged as a 3i event, a bizarre signature of three leptons, and a huge amount of missing energy. In the world of particle physics, that's like finding a footprint in your kitchen that doesn't belong to a human or any known animal. It was a complete anomaly. The energy spike was off the charts, registering at a staggering 3.1 tera electron volts. To put that in perspective, that's an energy level far beyond what the standard model of particle physics, our rulebook for the universe, can explain. At first, it was dismissed. A glitch, a fluke, a bit of cosmic ray interference. These machines are incredibly sensitive, and strange readings happen. But this one was different. It was clean. It was precise. The team ran diagnostic after diagnostic, checking every wire, every sensor, every line of code. They spent weeks trying to prove it was a mistake. The thing nobody tells you is that in science, the most terrifying moment isn't when you're wrong. It's when you can't find anything wrong with something that's completely impossible. The signal held up. Then came the calculation that sent a chill down everyone's spine. The statistical significance. It was a five sigma deviation. For the average person, that number doesn't mean much. But for a physicist, five sigma is the gold standard. It's the discovery of a lifetime. It means the probability of the signal being a random fluke is less than one in 3.5 million. This wasn't a ghost in the machine. This was real. This was a discovery. The news rippled through CERN, then through the global physics community, in hushed emails and frantic phone calls. Then, the public got wind of it, and that's when Brian Cox stepped in. Known for his ability to make the cosmos understandable and beautiful, Cox's tone was different this time. There was no wonder, no gentle curiosity. There was alarm. He warned that this discovery could upend everything we think we know about reality itself. It wasn't just a new particle, he explained. A new particle would be like finding a new island on a map. This was like finding out the map we'd been using was for the wrong planet entirely. It implies every direction you've ever traveled, Every landmark you've ever trusted was part of a grand deception. The very ground beneath your feet feels unstable. This was a cosmic wake-up call, a hint that the universe operates on rules we haven't even begun to imagine. The thing nobody tells you about a discovery this fundamental is that it erases more than it writes. Every textbook, every theory, every assumption is suddenly thrown into question. The fear wasn't just in the scientific community, it was primal. News anchors started asking questions with a nervous edge in their voices. Social media exploded into a firestorm of panic and wild speculation. People were talking about portals, weapons, and messages from beyond. But beneath all the noise was a single unifying terror. The rules were gone. For a century, the standard model of physics had been our shield against the chaos of the cosmos. It was complicated, but it was a rulebook 
It gave us comfort. Cox, along with other voices like Michio Kaku, was now telling the world that this rule book was, at best, a single chapter from a library we never knew existed. The machine built to find the truth had found something that felt like a terrifying lie. It suggested that our understanding of reality was a fragile illusion, and that illusion had just been shattered. The world wasn't talking about Terra electron volts and leptons because they understood them. They were talking about them because they represented a monster that had just stepped out of the dark. What they found was just the beginning. What they couldn't find was the real mystery, chasing phantoms. With a Five Sigma discovery confirmed, the scientific world was buzzing with a nervous energy it hadn't felt in decades. Many people are crazy about the possibilities. The three I event wasn't just a crack in the standard model. It was a gaping hole blown right through it. The problem was, nobody knew what had blown the hole. The world's greatest theoretical physicists went into a frenzy, throwing every wild idea they had at the wall, hoping something would stick. And you see, some of these ideas sounded like they were pulled straight from a science fiction movie. One of the first theories to pop up was supersymmetry. This is the idea that every particle we know has a hidden, heavier, super partner. It's an elegant theory that could solve a lot of mysteries about the universe, but decades of searching at CERN had turned up nothing. This new signal, however, with its massive energy and missing pieces, could be the signature of a heavy, undiscovered superparticle decaying in a way no one had ever predicted. It was a tantalizing thought, but it required some creative thinking, bending the rules of the theory to make it fit. But not all things are what they seem, and other, stranger ideas began to surface. What about dark photons? We know about dark matter and dark energy, the mysterious stuff that makes up 95% of the cosmos. Some theories propose that this dark sector could have its own forces, carried by its own particles, like a dark version of the photon. The three I event, they suggested, could be the first time our world has ever touched this dark world. Maybe the Z boson, a particle we know and love, momentarily interacted with a dark photon, opening a portal to a hidden reality just long enough for this bizarre signal to spill through. Then came the most mind-bending idea of all, extraspatial dimensions. We experience the world in three dimensions of space and one of time. But what if there are more? What if there are tiny, curled-up dimensions all around us that we can't see? Some theories suggest that gravity might be leaking into these other dimensions, which would explain why it's so much weaker than the other forces of nature. The physicists wondered, could the immense energy of the LHC collision have briefly kicked something, a graviton perhaps, out of our dimensions? That missing energy in the signal wasn't missing at all. It had just gone somewhere else entirely, somewhere we can never go. These weren't just fun thought experiments. They were desperate attempts to explain the unexplainable. The thing nobody tells you about the edge of science is how much it relies on imagination. Michio Kaku, another famous voice in physics, joined Cox in urging caution. He said this was a moment for humility. We are like children playing with matches, he warned, standing at the threshold of a new reality without understanding the rules. The pressure was on. The entire world was watching, waiting for the scientists at CERN to do one thing, find it again. They fired up the Large Hadron Collider, focused all their energy on that 3.1 tera electron volt range, and held their breath. They searched for weeks, but all they found was a terrifying, profound silence. Drawing a new map of reality, the silence from CERN was deafening. Day after day, the proton beams raced around the 17-mile ring, generating billions of collisions. The Atlas detector watched, listened, and recorded. But the three-eye signal was gone. It had been a fleeting whisper in a storm of data. And now, it refused to speak again. This failure to replicate the event didn't make the mystery go away. It made it a thousand times worse. A repeatable signal is a discovery. A one-time Five Sigma event that vanishes without a trace. That's something else. That's a cosmic ghost story. Behind the scenes, the scientific community was quietly tearing itself apart. The official story was one of patience and rigorous methodology. 
but the unofficial chatter, the late-night conversations over stale coffee, descended into a kind of madness. The theories got wilder. Some physicists started whispering about the simulation hypothesis with a seriousness that was deeply unsettling. What if our reality is a fantastically complex computer program and the three I event wasn't a discovery, but a glitch? A single momentary calculation error in the fabric of the cosmos that was quickly patched and corrected by the system. The thing nobody tells you is that this theory is impossible to disprove and the idea that our existence could be an error in someone else's code is a thought that can keep you up at night. Then came the idea that makes your skin crawl. What if the signal wasn't random at all? What if it was a response? The Large Hadron Collider creates energy densities not seen since the first moments of the universe. Perhaps some argued that immense concentration of power acted like a lighthouse beam in a cosmic ocean we didn't know existed. The 3 I event could have been an intelligent signal from another reality, another dimension, a brief ping to let us know that they saw our light. The reason it wasn't repeating wasn't that the experiment was failing, but because the entity on the other side had chosen to go silent. We hadn't just discovered new physics, we had made contact. The debate spilled out of the labs and into the halls of power. If any of these wild theories were even remotely possible, what were the implications? Could this knowledge be dangerous? You see, this is the part of science that doesn't make it into the textbooks. The discovery of nuclear fission led to both clean energy and devastating weapons. What could this new discovery lead to? The conversations were no longer just about math and theories. They were about ethics, safety, and control. The United Nations started paying attention. Suddenly, there were calls for a new level of oversight at CERN. A proposal began to circulate for a permanent oversight board, set to be established by 2027. But this wasn't going to be a simple committee of physicists. The plan called for independent safety experts, ethicists, and even representatives from countries that weren't part of CERN. The message was clear. Whatever CERN had stumbled upon, it didn't just belong to science anymore. It belonged to the world, and the world was scared. The thing nobody tells you is that humanity is often more afraid of new answers than it is of old questions. This is where the story gets really down to earth, where it stops being about subatomic particles and starts being about us. For the average person watching this unfold, it's a whirlwind of confusion. You start to wonder, is this how it happens? Does the world change overnight because of a blip on a computer screen in Switzerland? Are we just one tiny discovery away from a future we can't even imagine? It makes you look up at the night sky and feel a little smaller, a little less certain about everything. We put our faith in science to give us answers, to make the world make sense. But what do we do when science itself looks up from its instruments with a look of pure shock on its face? We are all explorers on this tiny rock, hurtling through an infinite universe. And maybe we are missing a key detail. Maybe the universe has secrets it keeps for a reason. Brian Cox and Michio Kaku weren't just sounding an alarm about a physics experiment. They were sounding an alarm about the very nature of discovery. They were reminding us that with great knowledge comes great responsibility. The 3 I event forced a global conversation, not just about what we know, but about what we should do with that knowledge. And as the days turned into weeks with no new signal, one terrifying possibility began to creep into the minds of everyone involved. What if the discovery wasn't the signal itself? What if the discovery was that we are not alone in our reality and we had just accidentally knocked on the wrong door? The three I event remains a ghost in the machine, a chilling reminder that we are just beginning to understand the cosmos. Are there some secrets in the universe we are better off not knowing? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to explore more of the universe's biggest mysteries, make sure to like and subscribe 